Hey there, and welcome to another Yarnspirations tutorial. I'm your host, Brittany, from Be Hooked, and today I have the pleasure of teaching you how to crochet the Bernat Crochet Bottle Toppers with Santa and Reindeer. Go ahead and grab your free pattern from Yarnspirations.com, your supplies, and let's begin. Now we're gonna work on the Santa first, and so we'll grab our red color and we'll create a slip knot. And place that loop on your hook and we'll chain 18. So now we need to join with our first chain to create a round. And what I like to do is just make sure I'm looking at the top of the braid there and then swing it around kind of in like a U shape and then stick my hook into that first chain from the slip knot there. Then we'll slip stitch. So grab that working yarn, pull it through that first chain and then through the loop on your hook. All right, now we're set up to work in rounds. All right, now to start off the first round, we're gonna chain one and we just need to make one single crochet into every chain. Now there's a couple different ways you can do this. You can flip it over and work in the back bump of the chain, or you could simply catch two loops of your chain and single crochet. Then once you make it to the end of your round, you'll find your first single crochet and we'll join with a slip stitch there. So moving on now to round number two, we're gonna chain one and we won't count this as a stitch. And all we need to do is make one single crochet into every stitch. But because that chain one isn't a stitch, I'll find the same place where that chain one is coming from, basically where I did my slip stitch before. And that's where I'll make my first single crochet of the round and from there, it's easy, one single crochet into every stitch. Now just like before, when you get to the end of the round, we'll find our first single crochet. We'll join with a slip stitch there. Next, we need to repeat that last round four more times. So start each one of those four rounds with a chain one, single crochet in the first stitch, and then make one single crochet into every stitch. And then don't forget to join at the end with a slip stitch there to your first stitch. Now, once you get to the end of that fourth round, before you join with the slip stitch, we need to go ahead and grab contrast color A. So we have that ready to go. And then what I like to do when I transition colors sort of like mid project like this is just stick my hook into that stitch as if I were going to slip stitch, but instead of yarning over with this red color, I'll add the new color here. Now you can create a slip knot here if you want, or you don't have to. Place that loop on your hook. And then pull that through the stitch and through the loop on your hook. Now you're ready to go with this new color. We can go ahead and trim off our main color. And from here, we'll continue that repeat a little bit more. We need to work the repeat of round two, so that's just one single crochet into every stitch. And we'll do that a total of three more times in this new color. Now once we've added those three rounds, we're gonna switch back to the main color. So just like before, I'll go ahead and create my slip knot. And then slip stitch by using that new color. And we're ready to go. So now we're on to the hat. This is the first section in your pattern where it says next round. We're going to chain one and then make a single crochet in the first stitch. 
and then single crochet two together. So we're decreasing by one stitch. The way we do that is stick your hook into that next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, then insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up another loop, then yarn over and pull through all three. So the repeat for this round is one single crochet into the next stitch, followed by a single crochet two together. And if you've done everything correctly, your last two stitches should be a single crochet two together. We'll work that. And then join with a slip stitch to our first single crochet. Now moving on to the next round, we don't want to increase because we want to have more of a gradual decrease to get the shape of his hat. So this round is really quite simple. We'll chain one, single crochet in the first stitch, and single crochet into every stitch until we get to the end of the round. Of course, then we'll join with a slip stitch to our first single crochet. All right, now for that next round, we're gonna repeat that once more. So make one single crochet into every stitch all the way around. So for this next round, we're going to single crochet two together all the way around. So we'll start off with a chain one, and then we'll stick our hook into that first stitch, pull up a loop, stick our hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop, and then yarn over, pull through all three, and repeat. We'll join with a slip stitch to that first single crochet two together from the beginning of the round, and that'll wrap up this one. Now the next two rounds, we will chain one, make one single crochet into every stitch, and of course join with a slip stitch at the end of both of those rounds. Now we have just one more round to go. We'll go ahead and decrease all the way around on this one as well. So we'll chain one, single crochet two together, starting off with that first stitch. We're only gonna have a total of three. And we'll fasten off. Next, we want to grab color B, and we're gonna work on the beard here. So go ahead and create your slip knot, and then chain five. And we'll find our second chain from the hook and make a single crochet there. I'm gonna work in the back bump this time, and make one single crochet into every chain. So now the second, third, and fourth rows, we're gonna work the same stitch pattern. So we'll chain one, turn our work, work two single crochets in the first stitch, so this one right here, because that chain one does not count as a stitch. We'll work one single crochet into each stitch until we get to the last one for this row. and then we'll make two single crochets in the last stitch. And then just repeat that two more times for rows three and four. So here's what our beard looks like at the end of those first four rows, and now we're gonna work a section over here and then a section over there. We'll come back and pick that part up later. So chain one and turn your work, and then we're gonna make one single crochet into each of the first two stitches. And that's all we're gonna work for this side. So we'll chain one, 
we'll turn our work and then one single crochet into both of these two stitches. And we'll do that one more time for this seventh row. Chain one, turn your work, one single crochet in each of the two stitches. And then we can fasten off. Now looking at it from this direction, we're gonna skip over six single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we're just gonna work in these last two. So go ahead and stick your hook in there. Get your color B ready. We're just gonna fasten on with the same color. We'll chain one and then single crochet in that same stitch because that chain does not count as a stitch. And then single crochet in the last one. Then just like before, we'll chain one, turn our work, just work one single crochet in each of these two stitches. And fasten off. Now for those finishing touches, I'll make a pom-pom next. I'm just gonna use my two fingers here. If you have a pom-pom maker, you could probably use the smallest size that you have, but you don't need one. Just wrap your two fingers. The pattern indicates about 15 times. However many times you wrap it is how full your palm is going to be. So I'm gonna wrap mine a little bit more so it's a little more puffy. And then I'll just trim that off. And then you can slide that off of your fingers. But before you let everything go, we need to have a scrap piece of yarn available. And I will use that to tie around the center of the palm. And you'll pull that as tight as you can. And then I'll go ahead and double knot it as well. This is going to be the piece that's holding the whole thing together, so you want this one to be nice and secure. And once you have that, hold on to these two ends. Those are going to be what you use to attach it to your Santa hat. And then we can just trim these loops to open it up. You'll be careful that you don't cut your, your main piece here that's holding everything together. And now because we used our fingers and not a palm maker, we'll have to do some housekeeping, right? It doesn't really look exactly round right now. So I'll just trim it up and make it look nice and tidy. Now you'll need to fasten this to the end of your Santa hat with some kind of needle, a yarn needle or a darning needle. The first thing I'll do is run this red piece just down through the middle and just sort of hide this a little bit. And the last thing we'll do is sew the beard onto the face. The first thing I'll need to do though is hide this tail. Because this part won't be seen, you really don't have to get too detailed with it. But just to get it out of the way, I'll run it under a row of stitches.
Now for the reindeer, we're gonna start and work the first six rounds exactly the same that we worked for our Santa. The only difference here, of course, is the difference in the yarn color, and we aren't going to be changing colors like we did for that first one. Now we're picking up here right after the sixth round. So once again, this is the same that we worked for the Santa, and then we're ready to begin our next round. So for this round, we'll chain one. Once again, this does not count as a stitch, and I'll make two single crochets in this first stitch. So we're increasing just a little bit on this round. And then we'll make one single crochet into each of the next eight stitches. And then we'll make two single crochets in the stitch after that. Then we'll make one single crochet into each of the next eight stitches. And we'll join with the slip stitch to our first stitch. Now for this next round, I'll chain one, make a single crochet in the first stitch, two single crochets in the next, followed by one single crochet into each of the next nine, two single crochets in the next, and one single crochet into each of the next eight. At the end, we'll join with a slip stitch to our first single crochet. Now on this next round, we're going to add the nose. So grab color A and have that ready to go. We'll make a chain one and one single crochet in the first six stitches. And when you're working your last single crochet, that sixth one, just work part of it. So pull up that loop and hold it there and then grab the red color yarn, place the loop on your hook, and then just pull that through those two loops to finish the stitch. Now I did not create a slip knot there, you can totally do that. And we'll just leave the main color in the back, we'll pick that up in just a moment. And now from here we'll work that stitch that forms the nose. So yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. We want to do that a total of three times. Then when we have four loops on our hook, we'll yarn over, pull through all four, and we're ready to keep going. So insert your hook into that next stitch, and then we will cut color A, pick up your main color, We'll use that to yarn over, pull through the stitch, and then yarn over, pull through two, just to finish off that single crochet. And then just kind of poke the nose out a little bit. And we're ready to go. Just make one single crochet into every stitch until you get to the end of the round. And then we'll join with the slip stitch to our first single crochet. Now for the next five rounds, we'll work the same round. So chain one, single crochet in the first stitch, and then make one single crochet into every stitch around. When you get to the end, you'll join with a slip stitch to your first single crochet, and we'll do that for a total of five more rounds. And from here, we'll go ahead and fasten off and leave yourself a nice long tail. We'll use this to sew up the top. So the first thing you'll do is line up the nose there so it's right in the middle, and then we'll just sort of secure that from the top and then sew it together. Next, we're gonna crochet the antlers. So we'll grab color B, make a slip knot, and chain 12. Now we're working with the smaller size hook here, so keep that in mind. 
Now we're gonna find the second chain from the hook, so this one right here, and work a single crochet. And we'll do that for the next chain as well. We'll chain four. Single crochet in the second chain from the hook. And then once into the next two chains. Now we're working back on our main chain. We'll make one single crochet into each of the next four chains. We'll chain four once again. Single crochet in that second chain from the hook and then in the next two as well. Then working on our foundation chain once again, one single crochet in the last four. And then we'll just repeat that for the second antler. Now still using the smaller hook, go ahead and grab color C. We'll work on the eyes now. Create a slip knot and chain two. And in that first chain that we made, we'll make six single crochet. We'll join with a slip stitch to our first single crochet. And fasten off. We'll repeat that once more for a second eye. Still working with the smaller hook here. The last thing we need to crochet is the scarf. So I'm working here with color C. You can really get creative here and use any color you want. We'll chain 45. And in the third chain from the hook, so one, two, and three, I'll make a half double crochet. And then just make one half double crochet into every chain and that'll finish off the scarf. And now we'll sew everything into place.